Good morning everybody and welcome to the Safari Live pre-drive drive. It is quite chilly. Myself and Sebastian are wrapped up all nice and warmly. Are you wrapped up warmly? Very warm. As he says that was shivers going down his spine. <laughs> Sebastian has a big blanket. It's so long it could just about reach over and cover my shoulders. It's so nice. I however am wrapped up like the Oros man and I've got about 37 left different layers on this morning. But it's not too cold. I'm not I'm not convinced just yet. It's a little bit chilly along the drainage line, but we'll see how it goes. I think I'm gonna to have to take one of my jackets off. And uh, yes, it's a little bit uncomfortable to drive, but exciting things. And if, uh, of course, happened in the night, Tristan had lots of lions, or a lion roaring, should I say, around Ingers last night. Uh, and I know that we've just had male lion tracks walking down towards Vuatella Dam. So if you did see something on uh, the dam cam last night, please hashtag Safari Live on Twitter so that we can find out the updates. Perhaps you saw this male lion that was walking around, but that's what we're going to be looking for first thing this morning. But we can't drive over the dam wall just yet because there's still guests in the lodge. So we're taking a little detour. We're going to probably go along Vulture's Nest and then we'll jump back onto Central and figure out where that lion sort of crossed over and then take it from there. But this all happened quite late last night. And you know what the male lions are like? They sort of just do what they want and they travel huge distances in a very, very short space of time. So he could really be anywhere. And we're going to quickly check around there, check bubbles or cut line, a little bit of it, sort of halfway along it. And I would really like to do a quick check on cheetah cut line um, and just have a look and see if anybody came that side. So that's going to be the plan to start us off this morning and then we'll see what else decides to pop out. Who knows? Maybe a leopard. I'd like to see some lions this morning, though. That That's on my list. Any lion, a female lion, a big lion, a small lion, just as long as it is a lion, and I'll be quite happy with that. <clears throat> Sebastian, any requests? Lion people, um, elites. Ellie's always, always up for elephants. Yes. So if we can see some elephants. Now, this is where the buffalo scared me yesterday. Let's see if our friend... The buffalo bull is still around here. Maybe he walked straight into that lion last night. Wouldn't that be quite nice? I think it would be wonderful. Mm, let's just check here. No. There are no lion tracks here. And I can't see any buffalo tracks either. But we will keep searching. It does get very cold. I can imagine the temperature is going to drop a significant amount as we go down into this dip over here. Let's, let's see how it goes. Not that I'd be able to feel anything, because I'm so wrapped up. Maybe my face can just tell us the temperature. Cold? Let's see if it gets freezing. Whee! Ooh, it's not so bad. I'm not... Nah. Nah, the temperature didn't actually drop that much at all, which is quite surprising. Perhaps it's because there's no water in these drainage lines. They've, all those puddles have most certainly dried up now. Meow. Go around here. Buffalo Saurus was laying just on the road behind us, probably just having a little rest. He's not there anymore. We'll check around here. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not actually sure which way Tristan went. He might have come this way already. Let's go have a little check. Nothing at Chili Pan, unfortunately. No animals drinking. Very quiet around this side. Very, very quiet indeed. We'll have to stop and listen in a moment too. <clears throat> right. It's time for the pre-show to finish and the real show to start. So we'll see you in a moment.